to understand. Right, this is on two. This has got to lower down here. So this surface is going to be one. If this surface is one, then this needs to be lower. This needs to be lower because at the moment this is exactly the same as that. So I'm going to have to change the model environment for this thing. I'm going to have to make this a bit sharper. So I'll pull this back a bit. I think I'm going a bit back too much, but you can really just perfect it yourself. I'm just trying to show you how you, you can minimize the amount of polygons you use without losing too much of the actual shape of what the weapon should be like. I'm just going to bring this down here. Cause I'm just going to stop it there because I'm going to end up curving it round. And I'll add that to it as well. Right, I'm just going to start adding verts again. So it's going to get to the boring part again. <laughs> well, not boring, but it's just a bit boring to watch. Um, I'm just thinking about how I can do this. Cause it kind of like you can see how it starts there. In fact, I can really minimise the amount of polygons I use here. So I can just drag this right down here. In fact, I'll add a couple just to make it look a bit nicer. I don't think I really need them, but yeah, whatever. You can just fiddle with it. Just add some more. Start to bring it round. Remember, this is a totally flat surface, so I don't really need to worry about like the positioning on of axes if that makes sense and I'm actually going to coordinate these ex exactly like corresponding parallel should I say to these because these are going to be connecting together and I can't actually have just a single polygon connecting all of these because I'd have smooth group problems and modeling just doesn't work like that I think that's like one of the first things you understand you learn If you can understand how geometry works and how when it triangulates and then the lightings produce kind of thing, then it's kind of easy to model. Easier to model. Well, in fact, it's a lot easier to model. Uh, this will do. As you can see, I've missed out that area there because it comes up a bit. To show you the actual model. It actually just bumps up here and then there's actually a bumpy part there where it comes up even higher. It'll probably come up back to about the level of here or maybe one of these. I'm just going to come back. And I'm just going to fill in these bit. Oh, what have I done? Just undo to make sure I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just going to fill in these. Oh, crap. I'll sort this out in a second. I've noticed that I haven't actually got enough. I suppose it would be a good example to show of how I'm actually going to deal with it. You can see how I actually do things. Right, let's come back to this part. Right, basically I need another edge in there. So I'm going to select my edge mode. I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to come back to edge, edge mode, select this, press backspace. I mean, it's sorted already, I just need to move these around now. Simple, easy. Sorry about that if the screen just changed a bit. Just had to do something. Right. That should, that's looking alright. I mean, I've used a bit too many polygons there, but I suppose it'll do. Now we can actually look at this area here. I mean, it looks quite complex, but if you kind of if you think about how it's actually going to work and how all these are going to how the shape's going to be affected, really, just kind of picture it in your head. I mean, that's what I always do. I kind of think about how I'd model it before I actually do it. I'm going to kind of create this edge here, and we we'll join it onto here, and I'll probably join it onto the bottom of here make it any old way because I'm going to be moving them all around so I don't think it really matters if they're a bit off centre at the moment. Just bring this down, start getting things positioned and then I'll just play around with things and oh one second in fact I could just select these all as one. Come on. 
some up here, some like this, bring this down. Uh, this is a bit annoying because I don't like like concentrated areas. I mean, um, in fact, I'm going to make these all on the same level soon, so I don't think it really matters. Well, so as, as you can see, I've kind of. I'm kind of getting the point of where the edge will start, and then I can kind of bring this over here, and I can add this all to one face. Right, I'll show you what I'm doing. I mean, in fact, I better sort out all these first because they're all on different levels. I'm going to go out here, and as you can see, some of these are. I mean, that's on 0 0.129, and this is on 1.89 need to basically get these on the same one. Uh, you can always tell if something's off center because if you select one and then you select another then it'll either disappear or it'll change to a different number. See what happens here? It's just disappeared so you know for straight away that they're off center. I mean they've all stayed the same so I know that they're exactly on the same level. I can come here just yeah that's right and just paste these in just to get it all at the right height at the moment I'm not too bothered about what the height actually is because I'm going to be changing that in a second I just need to make sure they're all on the right level oops paste. I think this might be going off the screen but basically I'm going down to paste and pressing enter now I can select these notice how I didn't select these because these are connected to the other piece of the model I'm just going to bring them out a bit I mean this area here is a bit messed up but yeah, I, oh, it should be alright I mean I can't really spend too much time on it well I could but I don't really want to I'm just going to create a polygon on this surface here because the surface is totally flat again I mean one sec yeah as you can see that's two point blah 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 and I select this and that's two so you know exactly straight away that they're all on the same level so I don't need to worry, worry, worry about how it's going to triangulate and how the light's going to be produced. Now I can just create a polygon here. Um, I'm going to have a bit of trouble here, so I'm actually going to have to turn it into squares. I suppose in the long run it might look a bit better. So. I'm kind of bring this up a bit. Oh, that's crap. I don't matter if one's a bit bigger than the other. Now I'm just going to come to this and just create this. Start to get the slope into it. And then it kind of like flows into that as well. I mean, I could move these around. I mean, it's not exactly following the reference fully. But I can kind of model it around how a model looks rather than how a piece of metal looks, if you get what I mean. Because it's kind of like your own personal preference, really. Let's bring these up as well. 